Hola a todos y bienvenidos. Hi everybody and welcome to our final Spanish lesson of the term. Well done for all of the lovely work you've sent in so far, for all of you that have joined in on the live lessons and to those of you that have been watching the pre-recorded lessons, I'd just like to say muchas gracias. And today we are going to look at a new topic and we're going to be looking at the days of the week. But before we do that, I'm going to share my screen with you and show you a really nice example of work that I was sent from a year five girl this week. Okay, so lesson five, then we are learning Los Dias de la Semana. And in my Salon de la Fama this week, I have a really nice piece of work where one of the children has gone online and taken an image of an owl, put it onto her page four times and written a sentence using Tengo, just like we practiced last lesson, how many owls she has, and what colour they are. So well done. Well done to all of the children who also submitted their Google forms with the quiz on. Okay, so you all got a raffle ticket because remember today is El Gordo and we're going to be drawing the raffle. So if you're watching this pre-recorded, I'm going to draw it live during the live lesson. So if you do win and you're not part of the live lesson, your teacher will send um, a message to you to let you know that you've won a prize. Okay, so buena suerte, good luck. Today's lesson then, what we're going to be learning to do, what is our LFPA? So we are learning the names of the days of the week in Spanish, and the focus is to pronounce the days correctly. The purpose of this is to be able to use these when writing the date in other lessons. So we're getting those cross-curricular links. You could write the date in Spanish in your English book, for example, okay? The assessment then, you'll know that you've done well this lesson because because you should be able to recognise and say most, if not all, of the seven days of the week in Spanish. So I'm going to now stop sharing my screen with you so we can learn the days of the week. Now, you'll notice each day has a picture with it as well. And that's because the days of the week in Spanish are linked to um, mythology, Roman mythology. So lots of the days have names similar to or taken from uh, the Roman gods and goddesses. OK, so we're going to talk about that as we go through each one, just to give you a bit of background knowledge as well and expand our understanding of the origins of language. OK, so lunes. Lunes is Monday. And we're going to start at Monday because it is the first day of the week. Lunes. And if you look, lunes, you'll see a picture of the moon. And lunes comes from the word luna which means moon. So think of other words derived from luna. You have lunatic for someone who's crazy. Um, luna means the moon. Yep. Yeah. So lunes, you say it, lunes. Lunes. Tuesday is called martes, and martes is taken from the Roman god of war, Mars. Okay, so martes. And it's also named after the planet Mars. OK, so lots of the planets are named after Roman gods. So we can make those links there. Martes. So Martes is the Roman god of war. So Tuesday, you say it, Martes. Tuesday, Martes. Wednesday, Miércoles. Miércoles, a four-syllable word. Miércoles. Miércoles. And Miércoles is named after Mercury, the Roman god of trickery. And if you look, he's always depicted with these little wings coming off his hat. OK, so can you say Miércoles? Miércoles. And I always think of Miércoles as well as being like a meerkat. I don't know why, but remember, when we're learning a language, it's really helpful to make links with other words to help us remember. So Miércoles means Mercury, which was the Roman god of trickery. We can think of a meerkat, miércoles. Jueves, Thursday, jueves. And jueves in Spanish means, or is taken from the Roman god Jupiter. Okay, remember Jupiter is the Roman equivalent to the Greek god Zeus. So if you have a look, you'll see he's holding the lightning bolts. So I know in year three you do Greek mythology. So we should have been able to remember that. So think of Jueves as being the planet Jupiter. Okay. And it also sounds like waves to me, like Jueves, Jueves. Okay. So try and make that association as well. You say it, Jueves, 
jueves. Friday, viernes. So have a look. Viernes, which Roman goddess can you think of? It's also the name of a planet. I'll give you a clue. It starts with the same letter. It's taken from the Roman goddess Venus, Viernes. And Viernes, remember, is pronounced with a B rather than a V. Viernes. Viernes. Sábado. Sábado. Can you say it? Sábado. So there's two ways of remembering this. Sábado is linked to the Roman god of death, Saturn, which again is named after a planet, or the planet is named after the god, Saturn, Sábado. And it's also in Spanish linked to the day of the Sabbath, Okay, so in religious um, connotations, it's linked to the Sabbath day. Okay, so Saturdays are usually the first day off work for many people. And that's known as the Sabbath day. Sabado, you say it, Sabado, Sabado. And then breaking away from planets and gods and goddesses completely, Domingo is Sunday. And I remember Domingo because it rhymes with Flamingo. Okay, Domingo. You try it. Domingo. Domingo, Flamingo. Okay, so that is the reasoning behind lots of these words in Spanish, lots of the days of the week. So let's go through them again and see if we can say them correctly. Okay, so escuchad y repetid. Lunes. Martes. Miércoles. Jueves. Viernes, sábado, domingo. Okay. Which day of the week is domingo? Is it Monday or Sunday? It's Sunday. Domingo, Sunday. Which day of the week is lunes? Is it Monday or Wednesday? Lunes, Monday, say so lunes, Mondays can make you a bit crazy, lunes, martes, what day of the week is martes, is it Sunday or Tuesday, Tuesday, miércoles, Wednesday. And I remember miércoles as being Wednesday as well, because Wednesday is the longest word in the English days of the week. And it's also the longest word out of all the Spanish days of the week. Jueves. Thursday. Jueves. Jueves. Viernes. Friday. Viernes. Sábado. Sábado. What's sábado? Is it Friday or Saturday? Saturday. And I remember it as well because it starts with the same letter as in English. Sábado, Saturday. Perfecto. Muy bien. Okay, so it's a lot to take in, a lot of information. Remember, if you're watching this at home, you can always replay the video and watch again if you want to listen from the start or if you want to revisit any of the things that we've just spoken about. So now... I'm going to share my screen with you and we are going to listen to a couple of songs in Spanish, okay? And they're telling us the days of the week. What I'd like you to do, I'm going to show you two versions. I'd like you just to think about which version you prefer and what. Okay, so it says, ¿Qué versión prefieres? ¿Por qué? Which version do you prefer and what? I'm going to listen to two different songs and have a think about which one helps you the most and why because remember as Spanish learners or as any language learner you have to try and make links and certain things work better for certain people so we all have our own individual style of learning and it's learning how to tune into that to make the most out of our language experiences so this is version uno Martes, lunes, martes, miércoles, 
miércoles, jueves y viernes, jueves y viernes, sábado, domingo, lunes, martes, lunes, martes, miércoles, miércoles, jueves y viernes, jueves y viernes, sábado, domingo. Okay, I'm just going to stop that one there. So that was the first song. Now I'd like to listen to the second song. Haz clic aquí para suscribirte. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Los días de la semana, siete días son. Llámese los siete días, los canto yo solita. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Los días de la semana, siete días son. Llámese los siete días, los puedo cantar. ¡Siete días! Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Los siete días. Okay, so which version did you prefer and why? So for me personally, I liked option one, numero uno, the best. And I liked the first version, or I preferred the first version because it was simple and it was saying the days of the week in a tune that I recognise, so it helps me to remember it. Okay, so I'm just going to move on to the next slide. So, your job now, can you sort the days of the week into the correct order? So, I've got viernes, lunes, sábado, martes, domingo, miércoles, jueves. So, if you're watching this at home, you can jot them down. Remember, the lesson goes at your pace. Pause it when you need to. Go back if you need to. If not, we'll go, move on to the next slide and see if you are correct. So, the order goes, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. And my top tip is link the days of the week to the colours of the rainbow to help remember the order. So, I don't know if you noticed, but when we were looking at the days of the week, when I was showing them to you, I had lunes in red, martes, orange, miércoles, yellow, jueves, green, Viernes, blue. Sábado was indigo. And domingo, violet. So I linked them to the days. Uh, sorry, not the days. I linked the days of the week to the colours of the rainbow. So I had an order. And one of my other top tips for you would be to think of a mnemonic. So assign each letter a word. And that helps you remember the order. So my one was lovely Mrs. Morsley, just vocally singing days. So now you're in for a treat because I'm going to show you how I was taught the days of the week in Spanish. And I was taught to sing them to the tune of the Can Can. So it goes. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. So not only did you get a lovely example of my fabulous singing, but my mnemonic also made sense because that was an example of lovely Mrs. Morsley just vocally singing days. So your next task then is to answer the following questions. If today is lunes, what day is it tomorrow? If yesterday was Friday, what day is it today? But you need to tell me in Spanish. In two days, it will be Thursday. What day is it now? Again, tell me in Spanish. Today is viernes. What day will it be in a week from now? What day is in the middle of the school week? Tell me in Spanish. And three days ago, it was domingo. 
What day is it today? So pause it while you work out the answers and we'll go through them together. So if today is lunes, tomorrow is going to be martes. If yesterday was Friday, which is viernes, what day is it today? So yesterday was viernes, so today is sábado, Saturday. In two days' time, it will be Thursday. What day is it now? So in two days' time, it will be Thursday. So today must be Tuesday. How do I say Tuesday in Spanish? Martes. Muy bien. Today is viernes. What day will it be in a week from now? In a week's time, it's going to be the same day, isn't it? So it's still going to be viernes. What day is in the middle of the school week? Miércoles. Middle of the week. Miércoles. And three days ago, it was domingo. What day is it today? So let's think domingo is Sunday. So let's count three days from Sunday. So that'll be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. How do I say Wednesday in Spanish? Miércoles. Muy bien. So that was a real tough one. So well done for getting through that. I want you now to listen to what these people are saying. Which is their favourite day of the week and which day don't they like? Now, if you have a look in the little blue box, it tells you that me gusta means I like or me gustan, if we're talking about more than one. No me gusta means I don't like or no me gustan if we're talking about more than one. So let's listen to what Elena says. Buenas tardes. Me llamo Elena. Me gustan los viernes, pero no me gustan los domingos. Okay, remember, if you need to, you can rewind or pause. Let's move on to Oscar. Hola, me llamo Oscar. Me gustan los sábados, pero no me gustan los lunes. Okay, and let's see what Felipe says. Hola, me llamo Felipe. Me gustan los miércoles, pero no me gustan los lunes. And lastly, Nuria. Hola, me llamo Nuria. Me gustan los sábados y los domingos, pero no me gustan los jueves. Okay, so remember, if you need to listen to those again, go back and play them again to get your answers. We'll move on to the next slide now and see if we can find the answers. So here are the answers to what the people were saying. So pause this, take a look, see what you got right, see what you might need to practice a little bit more on. So the final part of the lesson then, I'd like you to have a go at designing a crossword puzzle of your own. So remember to include the days of the week in Spanish. Okay, and if you look at the instructions, there is also a spot the deliberate spelling mistake. So if you can tell your teacher or email in, which word I've spelled incorrectly, you'll get a raffle ticket. So have a look at the crossword. I want you to write down the days of the week in Spanish to create your own crossword. Okay? And as an extension of our earlier work, I want you to have a go at thinking of a mnemonic of your own to help remember the days of the week. So remember mine was lovely Mrs. Morsley just vocally singing days. So, L for lunes, M for martes, M for miércoles, J for jueves, V for viernes, S for sábado, and D for domingo. Okay, and we use mnemonics quite a lot, but we don't really realise that we use them. So, I always use them whenever I try to remember the planets. So, I know this would be quite appropriate for year five children. I know this is your topic at the moment. So, if you say, my very easy method just speeds naming planets it helps you to remember the order of the planet starting with the one closest to the sun and working its way outwards and also if i'm trying to remember the order of the colors of the rainbow i use the mnemonic richard of york gave battle in vain so richard red of orange yellow york etc okay so have a go at making up your own mnemonic to remember the days of the week so the last thing I'm going to do then is just remind you that we are drawing El Gordo during the live lesson. If you're not part of the live lesson, then your teacher will send you a message to let you know if you have won. 
Okay, so all that's left from me to say is have a lovely restful half term. You deserve it. And I will see you back again after half term to continue our Spanish learning. Muchas gracias y hasta luego. See you all later. Adios.